This is Hike with the Hubbards, episode three. This is Alice the Madness. Shipwreck Hubbard. Show them the sign. Susan Creek, Flora. Wait, let me show you. Here you go. And we're gonna be going there. So, let's do this. We got um, both of our dogs with us, Roxy and Loki. Let's go. Roxy, Loki is just going to the bathroom. Here's Roxy just sniffing. We sniffing, Roxy. How are you sniffing? So, there's a bended tree, there's a lot, there is some um, plants here we'll be telling us about, like over here. The Pacific U, read this if you want. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna remove it. Whoa. Okay. They will be showing us poison oak and poison ivy, so yeah, we go through this way. Ah. I went through that way. Yeah, and like right in front of like right here and just moving around and not putting it towards the ground. So you seen it? Use my other hand now. Actually, can I just zoom in? Okay, I can zoom in if I want. I'm gonna zoom out though, because I don't need that. I can zoom out and zoom in while I'm at it. But yeah, this is a new camera, by the way. We're trying out a new camera. Um, first episode. There wasn't really much volume because I was in, I was using a, basically a GoPro with a waterproof case. In the second episode, I, we were using my dad's phone. So the third episode, we're going to use this new camera and see if this will work best. Hello. Here we go. Sugar. This is the sugar pine. I'll read this one. Sugar pines produce heavy cones that dangle from the tip of upper limbs. Yeah. There's a sugar pine right there. It's a skinny one. Oh, yeah. Show them some of the trees are in here. Yep, that's what I'm doing. These ones are tall, skinny trees in here. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'm not putting it towards the ground this time. I'm making sure I'm not putting it towards yeah. the ground. Yeah. Technical difficulties by. Kept on putting it towards the ground, so yeah. Sometimes my dad will record some, but it's mostly gonna be me that's probably gonna be recording. So let's do this. For the hovers, we hike. But speaking of plants, like on plants, we're not only hikers, but we're gardeners, aren't we, Dad? They're telling them about poison oak, so that people know. Poison oak. When? Oh, hold on. The shininess. It's sunny. Poison oak. When touched, all parts year-round can cause sometimes severe allergic reactions. Learn to recognize and avoid this widespread plant. You might see some and sunlight. This is what it looks like right here. Yeah. That's poison oak. Did you do yeah, right there will also be poison ivy somewhere in a little bit. Oh man.
There is a chance that another video after this will upload. It's a gaming video. Well, let's at the same time do this video. The dogs have a hard time recognizing it. Yep. <laughs> you gotta watch out because your dogs get in it and you pet your dogs, you'll get it. Yep. These are Shiba Inus, by the way, these dogs, Roxy and Loki, they're Shiba Inus, Japanese dogs. And yeah. Oh, here we go. Douglas fur, if I can reach. Okay, luckily, it's lucky enough, this one has shade. Um, one of the tallest confiners, some over 250 feet. The Douglas fur is the largest timber producer in North America. Yeah, that's where we're from, Douglas County, the home of the Douglas fur. Yeah. From Roseburg, Oregon. Cool. So you take the pups, I'll, I'll film for a little while. Okay, my dad's gonna be filming, so enjoy Shipwreck Hubbard. As Atlas the Madness Fox the dogs. Hazelnut. Long yellow catkins form in late winter, giving way to blooms that will become tasty treats for squirrels. And then the squirrels will become tasty treats for... Dog. You got it. Circle of life. Mm. We'll get it on the way, Diane. Okay. Some of them we'll get on the way. Ooh, that's me. Oh, hold on. So, Boogie Butt, what do you think of the new Spider-Man? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah? What do you think of the new Spider-Man? Oh, um, I thought it was pretty good, the new Spider-Man movie. We watched it, Far From Home. It's pretty good, we watched it in 3D. Not too bad. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? Like a... Uh... No, actually, what do you give it on a scale from macaroni and cheese and to, um... Cold pig's feet. Cold pig's feet? Uh, macaroni and cheese. Right, more macaroni and cheese and cold pig's feet? Yeah. What about on a scale from peanut butter and jelly to top ramen to uh, moldy apples? A little bit over top ramen. Top ramen, okay, in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, we put it out. So 
So if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, Atlas, what would it be? Um, I would eat... What would I eat? Something that I would eat. That's kind of hard, actually. Yeah, I know. No matter what it is, you'll get tired of it, but you gotta, you gotta commit to one thing. One recipe of one thing. It can be a combination of things, but it's that one thing every time. Oh my goodness, that's the weakest answer in the history of this <laughs> quiz. Why? Can you believe that, folks? He said went with peanut, uh, chicken noodle. I'll be tired of chicken noodle and like the first time I had it. I don't nah, know. Chicken noodle's okay. I don't know. Homemade chicken noodle can be good too. If I was gonna go something that route, I would go with a ramen, like a Japanese ramen with all the different meats in it. And what do you say, day, folks? And the other day, he go had ahead and comment in the comments below and tell us what you would eat. Right here. And tell us what you would eat if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life. Yeah, you tell us in the comments. Tell us about and we'll reply back. The Pacific Madrone. Pacific Madrone. We got these all over the place. Let's see what it says here. The most unique feature is its reddish papery bark that peels away, revealing a smooth trunk below. And that trunk is just like an elephant's trunk. It breathes out of there. It drinks water out of there. It makes noise. You'll hear this tree make noise. There it goes. That was that tree. Liar. Out of a trunk. Uh, Liar. Liar. Okay, do you want to go up okay. or do you want to go down? I'm here in water, so we're getting close to the creek. Well, there's another trail. Oh, uh, we're going to keep going straight on this on this trail. Okay. I know this trail well. I, we went here before. Which on the way back, we can go time. down to the creek on that way if we want. Just goes down to the water. How about we, yeah. And then we'll record that. Should we record that part as well? Like take a break from recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go. There's two. I don't want to make too long of a video, but take forever first to upload it. Well, then you just want to do this trail. We'll just do it till we get there. We're almost there. It takes about another five minutes, I think. Yeah, we've done this before. We saw we could do it a second time, and this time record it. We've actually done this one many times, yeah, but. It's a good one. It was close to home. It's July 3rd, so we didn't want to be on the road too much because where we're at, the roads get really busy with campers and you can't get yeah. nowhere. So we figured we'd do the easiest one to get to. Summer summer videos, man. Summer videos. Mm -hmm. oh, and this go. one's beautiful. Watch. Wait, Look at these trees grand, right here. Grand fur. Whoop. We're going to go up a couple hundred feet here, so hold on. If you want, Dad, you could zoom in. Come on, dogs. Come on. Come on, see Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Want to take, take over here? Here in a minute. Yeah, you'll take the dogs and then I'll take over. <laughs> If you had to be best friends with a cartoon character, who would you pick? Out of cartoon character? Hmm, let's see. That's a hard one, actually. Pee-wee, Pee-wee. Pee-wee, he's a real guy, though. Animated. Oh, no, sorry. Um... But that's a good, that's a good one. I like Pee-wee, too, but... Kind of, but he's... I mean, it's... It's a fantasy world, but he's not a cartoon. Um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah? They're cartoons. Yeah, that counts. Which one? Michelangelo? Michelangelo, for yeah. sure. 
for yeah. sure. Mikey. Michelangelo for the win. Let's see, who, what character would I be friends with? I'd probably be friends with, like, Goofy, because he's like you. The okay, most. can I um, have <laughs> the camera back? You're my best friend, so I'd probably pick Goofy. <laughs> can I have the camera All back? Alright, All right. here comes this guy. Ah. Here comes Atlas the Madness. Sorry, give me them pups. Okay, he's got the, okay, he has the pups again. Trip back over. It's taking the pups, and Atlas the Madness is back recording. That's our nicknames for YouTube. Let me know, guys, if you want us to, like, guys, let me know if you guys want us to do, like, live streaming. That, let us know. Oh, Dad, let me read this. Okay. Here's the Western Sword Fern. These lush ferns provide cover for wildlife, deer, elk, bear, and other wildlife forage on the long leaves. Bronze. Yeah, let us know if you want me to do more live streaming, like maybe on like Hike with the Hubbards or something like that. You could probably have a chance of doing that. Let's see, let me see if the zoom in is going to work. Let me know if it's still working. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. Let me know if the zoom in still works. Okay. Oh, well, gotta be careful here. <laughs> yeah, I thought yesterday we had an indoor day, but we don't have an outdoor day today. Which way? There's another two trails? Okay, we're going this way. Okay. When we get to the fall, I'm gonna have to zoom in. Oh wait, Oregon great. Okay, there's sunshine. Small Small mammals and birds eat the bird bitter tasting berries of the evergreen shrub. It is also the state flower of Oregon, where we live. And I'm jumping. Like Mario, where are you going? Oh, my dad's just doing something. Ah, oh, Savannah, Lion King, coming to theaters. So, Dad, who's your favorite superhero? Um, Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ghost Rider? My favorite Spider-Man. That's why we saw the new movie. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna change that. Hey, he man. He. Final count him as a superhero. He's a superhero. He's a yeah. Hero. What else would he be? Uh, hero. You know, he's super. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a hero. <laughs> oh, how dare you? I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. He man, that's a good show though. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot. <laughs> Oh, we're almost there. Okay, we're almost there. We're the cutting it close. We'll be awesome about it. Imagine like, like one video later, like once we make like another hike with the hike with the upper zoo, but we didn't even realize, but it was an hour long. Okay. Like, oh my goodness, we made a long one there. <laughs> what are you doing? What? You're pointing at the angle. Didn't mean to point at the ground there. We're almost there.
Which way are we going? This way? Oh, I can see the waterfall. Wait, let me zoom into that. Zoom in. Look at that waterfall. I'm zooming into that. I'm gonna zoom it back down now. Cause we're going. I was just showing them it by zooming in yeah. the camera. All right, we're okay, I'm gonna end this pretty soon here. Now let's so let's finish this off though. Wait, am I going over here? I guess. This way, the trail. Look at the camera. Oh, I don't think we can go on the bridge, buddy. I don't know, though. Look. Okay, we gotta be careful at this bridge. They did something to it. I don't know what happened here, but okay. Okay. Okay, I'm about to finish this. We just made it! Okay guys, we're here. I'm gonna wait for the shipwreck hover. But we made it! I'm gonna zoom in. Zoom into that bad boy. Look at this waterfall. So there you go, let me just zoom back down. I did not mean to go closer. So we did it! I already showed the waterfall, zoomed in. Time we up in there. Yeah, we climbed up in there one time. That was cold. So I think we should end this here, right Dad? Yeah. So um, please do subscribe today. This is Shipwreck Hubbard, I'm Atlas the Madness, and we'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye guys!